present to you the pondering frog. What are you pondering? <laughs> Hey, what's up creatures? It's Em and I'm back today with another creature feature. The series where I pick an animal and tell you lots of facts about them. Today we're going to be looking at a fascinating little creature, the white tree frog. We interrupt this creature feature for just a moment to let you guys know that my new spring summer merch collection is now available featuring this design with Fluffy the alligator snapping turtle wearing a gorgeous flower crown of carnivorous plants. Dobby and Niffler and car designs have also just been added to the store with more bonus designs being added throughout the month of April. Thank you all so much for your support in keeping my channel running and helping me to better my content through your purchases. This gorgeous little fellow over here is a white tree frog, also known as an Australian green tree frog and a dumpy tree frog. White tree frogs are native to Australia, but they can also be found in New Guinea and in parts of New Zealand where they were introduced. The conservation status of the white tree frog is currently listed as of least concern, meaning that their wild populations are healthy and stable. The white tree frog is a nocturnal species of frog, meaning that it wakes up at night time. During the day it's just too hot in Australia for these little guys to actually get around safely so they wait until it's nice and dark and a lot cooler before they come out to hunt. What are you pondering? <laughs> oh wow! Did you see what happened just then? That was a perfect example of a frog using its nictitating lens. The nictitating lens, or the nictitating membrane, is a clear coloured third eyelid which is present in many animals such as crocodilians, fish, frogs, birds and cats. It helps to protect the eye from debris whilst keeping it lubricated. Nictitating lenses are usually transparent to provide a degree of visibility while it's stretched over the eye. The white tree frog has really unique eyes in that most tree frogs have vertical pupils, but the pupils on a white tree frog are actually horizontal, a bit like a goat. <laughs> White tree frogs are not called white tree frogs because of their colour, they're actually named after John White who actually discovered the species in the 1700s. White tree frogs can undergo a crazy colour change. What they'll do when they're resting is they'll actually relax down into a deep maroon or purpley colour. It's only when they're awake or starting to wake up that you'll start to see the green appearing usually around their feet and around their armpits first and then they eventually, as they wake up, turn this beautiful green, sometimes grey and sometimes blue colour depending on the individual. They go a dark brown or maroon colour to help them to camouflage while they're resting because when they're resting they usually find somewhere that's dark like a tree hollow or even a toilet to rest. Because the white tree frog is a relatively tolerant species of frog, in the drier months they can often be found living in close proximity to humans in agricultural and suburban areas. Now if you're thinking this is quite a hefty looking frog, you would be right. The white tree frog is one of the largest species of frog found in Australia. When it comes to food, the white tree frog is not picky. They're actually an opportunistic animal. They will wait in the dark until something walks past them and they've got fantastic eyesight to be able to detect any small creatures. Whether it's a cricket, a spider, a small snake or even another small frog, they will happily pounce onto that food and stuff it into their mouths. <laughs> okay, as funny as this is, you need to come down because you don't want to have my makeup on you. Ah! Nah! No! Please excuse me while I moisten my frog. This is what most white tree frogs look like, but they can also look like this. As they mature, white tree frogs store excess fat on their heads. This species is prone to obesity because they are very greedy and very lazy. Being a tree frog, the white tree frog has incredibly sticky toe pads. Look at those toe pads. They are super sticky. Oh, you're going onto my skin. I don't want you to hurt yourself. My skin's too salty for you. All these flavours and my skin chooses to be salty. 
Now look at these back toes. Although this frog is a tree frog, it's also an incredible swimmer. So they're perfectly adapted with these long sticky pads on their toes to climb trees. But their back feet are completely webbed, so they're perfect for swimming in the water as well. The white tree frog is a sexually dimorphic species of frog, meaning that you can tell whether it's a boy or girl just by looking at them. The females have a beautiful smooth white throat, whereas the males need to be able to call to impress the females. So the males have a much baggier throat, which is usually a fleshy grey colour. Females also tend to get a bit larger than the males, but there are always exceptions to the rule. Males begin to call within their first year of life, and they can be incredibly persistent with their vocalizations. Females can also call, but their calls are much shorter and infrequent. <coughs> At two years of age, the white tree frog is mature enough to produce its own offspring. The females lay eggs in water and they can lay up to a thousand eggs in a single laying. Sometimes females will do this twice in a season. The eggs sink to the bottom of the water and they quickly hatch into tadpoles in as little as two days. In the right conditions, tadpoles will undergo metamorphosis in around a month. Just think about that, they lose their tails, grow lungs, feet and legs in around the same amount of time that we humans can only grow a decent set of fingernails. <coughs> The white tree frog is a long-lived species of frog, reaching lifespans of up to 20 years in captivity. In the wild, of course, this would be significantly less due to disease, roads, and larger, sometimes invasive, predators. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this white tree frog creature feature. If you did, leave a comment down below and let me know if you learned something new. If you have any bonus facts to share with everybody else, leave a comment down below and share the knowledge. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye!